Capital One is a major user of Dask today. So they have a fairly traditional pipeline here using tools like Pandas, Scikit-Learn, XGBoost, uh, where they're training on a subset of data uh, that's important to the bank. I think the full data set is around a terabyte, but they've only ever been able to get this thing running on about 40 gigabytes of data at once. It takes around two and a half weeks to train the whole pipeline, especially given all the hyperparameter optimization that they're doing. So the first thing that they did is they just ran this pipeline in parallel in an embarrassingly parallel way. So they spun up a bunch of Dask workers on the cloud uh, and they got you know, like a 10x uh, reduction in time. And that allows them to iterate much more quickly, right? If they wait two and a half weeks every time for this, this model to run, uh, you're not gonna change it very often. You're gonna change it once a year, once every few months maybe. Now they can change it every day, every week, and that improves their model accuracy over time. But this is just the beginning. They use Dask in a very simple way at first, and then they use Dask across every stage of the system, right? Dask can be used to do embarrassingly parallel workflows, or it can be used to accelerate each individual stage using libraries like Dask DataFrame, Dask ML, or the native Dask XGBoost integration. Then they can go a step further and they can use Dask alongside systems like Rapids. Uh, Rapids is a GPU accelerated version of Pandas and Scikit-Learn uh, and XGBoost, which gives incredible speed ups, especially when you pair it with Dask. So now they're able to get not a 10x speed up, but a 100x speed up. Now, GPUs and distributed clusters are a bit more expensive. So you think, oh, this is gonna cost a bit more. And it does, but because it's so fast, there's still a 97% reduction in training costs. 